inside Denver, Colorado for what should be another exciting game. Temperatures below the freezing mark for today's game as the AFC North champion Steelers square off against the Broncos. Let's go to midfield for the coin toss. Lined up for the kickoff, so let's get today's game started. Sauerbrunn is just about ready to kick this one away. Should be a return here. From the 8. The 20. Kick ready to go on offense for the first time. <laughs> this defense will stop him for sure. Ward is on the right of the formation. Looking upfield. Play action. Gets rid of it. Wilson is there on the stop. Number 35. Caught the pass, but didn't go anywhere. Nope. They were on him like blue. Second member of our EA Sports coach close-up is Mike Shanahan, who has three Super Bowl rings. He earned one as the 49ers offensive coordinator during the 1994 championship season. And then as a head coach, led the Broncos to consecutive world titles in 97 and 98. Should be a beauty with two of the most talented defensive units in the league. We all know the defense wins championship. And we'll be watching two of the best that the NFL has to offer in this one. And since both of these teams really get after the quarterback, it's created a lot of pressure. Seven, don't be surprised if we see a lot of takeaway loss. Time to call a special team play. Kardaki will come in now to punt it away. Here's the punt. They'll spot this one where it went out. Nothing will keep the defense on us better than a good play action fake. Smith lines up on the right side. With the throw. This one falls incomplete. Trying to get him in stride, but overshoots him. The Steelers come out on a nickel back. Rowing. And he hits his target. He gets the first down reception, and then some. Come on, show these guys some power football. Ball on the 41-yard line. Out of the eye formation. Aimed it off to the back. Polamalu records the tackle. Top notch tackle by the safety. I'll have to get the ball inside the 31 to convert for the first down. upfield. Smith brings him down, but they get enough to move the chains. Get the offensive line to maintain their block. It's first and ten. Blue, 58. Anderson lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Rolling right. 
throwing on the run. And it's complete. Taylor comes up to make the play at the 21-yard line. Good, strong throw by the quarterback on that pass. Even the receiver was surprised how quickly that one got to him. That's the kind of thing you just hope you can hang on to as it goes by. where it really counts. Use your best play and put the ball in there. Seventh play of this drive. They're in field goal range. Only one man in the backfield. Yellow, 74. Yellow. Rolling out to his left with the throw. Interception. Obviously looking for them to go to the air. The defense was right in position to intercept that throw. Great play. Great execution. Now that's what defense is all about. Denver goes with a four-man front. Looking to run it here. Goal makes the tackle. Bettis takes it up the middle for a yard or two. Ball on their own 20. The Broncos come out in a 4-3. Hughes to go down. Brown with the tackle. Busted through for a few tough yards. Now it's third and six coming up. Denver comes out in their nickel package. Tosses it right. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. That third down run comes up short, so we should see a punt here. Now here's the punt unit as the defense forces a three and out. Here's the kick. The ball going in the wrong direction for the kicking team. The key here is to step up into the pocket. Make sure you get those feet set before you throw. Smith lines up on the left side. Stepping up with the pass. He finds his man. Towns records the tackle. They get first down yardage on that hookup. It's first and ten. Smith is lined up on the right. Blue, 16. Red, 58. Bonner sends a man in motion. Dropping back to pass on first down. Gets rid of it, and he fails to hang on to that one. He put the ball exactly where you want to put it. Smith lines up on the right side. Rolls right. Throws on the run. And the catch is made. He's pushed out at the eight. Plummer makes a lot of great throws while he's on the run. That's for sure. He could really get something out of it when he wants to. And he doesn't lose a whole lot when he's throwing on the move. I'll tell you, this is one of those guys that can hurt you in a lot of different ways. The backfield is empty, and they'll go with five receivers. Closing in, Porter makes the tackle. Brought it down and ran with it, but couldn't find any room. That's a good play by the defensive unit. They let the play develop, and they were right there to bring him down when he decided to run. It's second and goal at the five. A lot of speed on the field for the defense as they line up in the quarter. It's rid of it. Adams was the intended receiver on that play. It's third and goal at the five-yard line. Smith is on the left side of the formation. Lobs 
one into the end zone. Touchdown, Denver. Watch this catch by the tight end. I always say the tight end is always more of a threat in the red zone. He's a big target, and his skills sometimes cause matchup problems for the defense. You better kick it here. And it's up. The point anchor is good. They have a one touchdown lead now. And that drive, John, is capped off with the touchdown. Big players make big plays, and that scores touchdown. Give some credit to the linemen out there. They're the biggest guys in the field, and without them, no one gets into the end zone. From the two-yard line. They forced a three and out on the last series. This defense will stop them for sure. It's first and ten. Ford lines up on the right side. Roethlisberger with a man in motion. Pressure coming with the pass. Dumps this one off to the right. Wilson is there on the stop. Roethlisberger dumped it to his running back there. Yeah, they brought the blitz on that play, and he had to get rid of it very quickly. Denver comes out in their nickel packer. They give it to the halfback. Williams brings him down. The linebacker brought him down to the turf. Five yards to go. Denver comes out in their nickel package. Throwing. Pass ball's incomplete. It looks like it's going to be an interference call. The only question is against whom? On the defense. So he pays for his aggressiveness. Yeah, the defender has to be careful to make sure he plays the ball rather than the receiver. are lined up in an eye. Throws it. Incomplete pass. Too tall for the intended target. Call this defense here. The Broncos come out in a nickel package. Hand it off. Loses the defender. Bailey is there for the Number tackle. The ball Pushing his way through the would-be tacklers, he picks up solid play. yardage. Ball on their own 46. They'll go from the I formation. Going to the right. Williams records the tackle. No gain on that play as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed. Yeah, he did a great job getting in there. He was looking for the run before they even snapped the ball. Denver lines up in a 4-3. Lynch makes the tackle. Bettis is able to pick up good yardage after taking the toss. Let's say seven yards. After one quarter of football, a touchdown separates these two teams with the score. Denver, 7. Pittsburgh, 0. The teams have switched sides, and we'll start in the second quarter. On third down, they have to get the ball to the 44 to convert. Ward is lined up on the right. Miller, the motion man. Pressure. Brown did a great job breaking through, getting there for the set. Yeah, it's a great play because he had to slip the blocker, then use his speed to get back to it. And he just made it look simple. Gardaki will come into this game to punt. Here's the punt. They down the ball at the four-yard line. Great coverage by the kicking team as they downed it at the five-yard line. Yeah, they did a heck of a job of getting down there and setting up their defense with great field position. Bell, the lone back. 
receives the handoff. Porter stops him for negative yardage. And he chases him down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. I'll tell you, he's one of the most knowledgeable defenders in the league. He knows how to play the game, and he always knows what's going on. Only one man back. Plummer stops the clock with that timeout. Timeout called by the offense. Ball inside their own five. Bell, the lone setback. With the carry, Von Olhoffen is there on the Bell stop. With At the, the four. Keeping Hands it on the ground, they the chose board. to run the same exact play, not even a shift in their formation. Smith is lined up on the right. Adams, the motion man. Yellow, 25. Red, 16. Steps up, gets the pass off, jumps and makes the catch, and he goes out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Now this is one heck of a play. Look at it. We're in a hole here on third down, and they come through with this perfect play that gets him a first and keeps the drive going. to open up the middle and send your guy through it. Fifth play of this drive. Deep in their own territory. Yellow, 58. Smith lines up in the left slot. Red, 16. Steps up into the pocket. Throws it. Jumps up. He has it. He was really hit hard on that play. One of the things that makes Jake Plummer special is the way that he can lead his team from behind when he has to. When you think about a guy that you'd like to have when you're behind, Jake Plummer isn't at the very top of the list, but he's one of the guys near the top. the play up in the backfield. It's three tackles so far for him today. Spread the ball around and make sure the defense knows that they have to cover every receiver. Blue, 74. Blue, the Steelers come out in a nickel package. Rolls right, under pressure. Throwing. Almost picked off. Tried to throw the pass away from the defender, but ended up throwing behind his intended target. Eighth play of this drive. Plummer looking to pass. Lines up with five wide receivers. With the pass, a great one-on-one -on -one stop by Polamalu. The Broncos convert for a third time after having a long way to go for a first down. Set. Yellow, 25. Plummer sends a man in motion. Porter is there for the tackle at the 44-yard line. Come on, show these guys some power football have to get the ball inside the 34-yard line to convert for a first down. The backs are lined up in an eye. Delta, Delta, switch one. Delta, Delta, switch one. Three, 16. Get him out. Give it to the halfback. Barry comes up to make the play. And that was a gain of seven. Get some time in the pocket and be patient with it. Don't force it into cover. And this is the 11th play of this drive. So they need about three here. Only one man back. Blue, 25. 
Plummer with a man in motion. Receives the handoff. Smith makes the stop at the 28. The Broncos get the yardage they need to keep the drive alive. An exceptional effort on third down. play here on first down. Rolls right. Steps up into the pocket. They didn't give him time to find a receiver. In his own, there's going to be gaps between the defenders, and that's where the ball has to go. But that time, it wasn't there. Now in second and long after the sack. Anderson, the lone back. Plummer with a man in motion. Yellow, 74. Rolling out to his left. Closing in. You got to have a big play here. They have to get inside the 18 to convert for the first down. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. Throws it. Incomplete pass. He had too much on that pass, John, as it sailed over everybody. Looks like he might be pressing a little bit out there. He needs to be a little more patient, find his receiver, and then deliver the ball on a spot that his receiver can go to. Here's the kick. And he chooses not to return this one. A smart coach would call this defense. And we're at the three-minute mark. Only one man in the backfield. On the delay. Ferguson is there for the tackle at the 23. Gain of you should stop on the this play. play. It's second down and seven to go. Lines up in a 4 3. Tosses it left. Wilson comes up to make the play. At the 21 yard line. Three yard loss on the play. Almost at the two minute mark now. Denver comes out of the quarter defense. Throws it. Almost in a second. He was in the right place at the right time, and that saved them from giving up a lot of yardage. Offense couldn't get it done, and they line up the punt. Here's the punt. From the 22. The key here is to step up into the pocket. Make sure you get those feet set before you throw it. And we've reached the two-minute mark. Three, twenty-five. Seven, Five up. wide receivers. Stepping up, pressure coming, gets the pass off, off target, but he gets it. Downs is there for the tackle. Thought the pass, but didn't go anywhere. Yeah, the defense is real good at putting a quick end to completion. They want to hurry it up here. Plummer sends a man in motion. Steps up into the pocket. Pressure. Ford stops the clock there. I know you hate these long yarded situations, but you really have to get this one. The Steelers come out in a dime packet. With the pass, picked off. Try this defense here. Is there on the stop? The offense is going to hurry things up here. Five yard gain on the play. Gets the pass off. The pass is picked off. Quarterback was ready to get hit and just threw it up for grabs. 
I tell you, you don't get a whole lot easier than that. He was right there. Quarterback makes a bad throw, and he brings it in for an interception. So after the interception, now it's first and ten. Plummer scans the defense from the gun. Stepping up, rolling right, throws it. He goes up and grabs it. And he'll take it out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Be efficient here. You can't afford to let time slip away from him. Smith is on the right of the formation. Throwing. Incomplete pass. Incomplete pass. DeVoe was the intended Number receiver 14, on that play. Intended receiver Just over forward. a minute still to go. Blue, 16, yellow, 70, blue. Smith lines up on the right side. Stepping up. Gets rid of it. Nearly intercepted. Lelace was his intended target. Times had the coverage on the play. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. Consistent success on third down, which they've had, usually translates into a win. With the pass, this pass is incomplete. Now, smart coach would punt the ball here. Sauerbrunn is back to punt. Randall L. is the deep return man. Here's the kick. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 19-yard line. This is a good defense to call. Denver using three linebackers. They give it to the halfback. Meyer is there for the tackle. Bettis takes it up the middle for a yard. Second and ten. He gets the carry, fakes the handoff with the throw. Wilson comes up to make the play. They'll head right back to the line. Drops back. Rowan, he hits his receiver. He'll feel that one tomorrow. He's calling everyone up to the line of scrimmage. Dropping back a pass on first down. Can't get it from behind. It's rid of it. And he makes the grab. And he's planted in the open field by Pace. They'll go with a hurry up offense. Roethlisberger stops the clock with that timeout. This is a good special teams play. Reed lines up for the field goal to try to put them on the board for the first time in the game. And it's on its way through the uprights and good. The Steelers have tightened it up. Not a bad drive and they wind up adding three points. He got all of that one. This one is fielded by Adams. This should be the last play of the half. Base, base. They give it to the halfback, and he's there on the stop. So after the first two quarters of play, the score is second half. Sends it sailing. From the 12. The Broncos didn't have much trouble moving the ball in the first half. Well, John, as predicted at the start of the game, the defenses are dictating the pace of play. Yeah, they sure are. They're really taking the offenses out of the game, playing the run tough and shutting down the pass. Steps up into the pocket. Gets the pass off. The pass falls incomplete. He had plenty on that pass, but it was off target. He has to learn to take a little bit off it sometime. You don't want to try and guide it in there or put it up for grabs. But you also need to give your guy a chance to catch the ball. 
Anderson is lined up as a receiver. Throwing. He hits his receiver. Foot with the stop. What a throw. Hits him in stride, and they pick up a big first down. Ball on their own 38. Smith lines up on the right side. Plummer with a man in motion. Come on. Three, 74. Steps up. Under pressure. Great play to knife in there for the sack. Clearly, the offensive line is having a lot of trouble getting it together. You have to be able to protect the quarterback in that type of situation. It's going to take a little longer to find the open man or the hole in the zone. You got to find a way to give him that extra time that you need. Looking long down the right side of the field. Not the way. Plummer. So the single coverage downfield and went for it all. Okay, go on a quick count here and just fling that ball in there. And this is the fifth play of this drive. Nice job so far on third down for the offense, and we'll see if that continues here. Casey Hampton will start getting some extra attention now that he has two sacks. He's got that intangible that you can't measure with a radar gun or a stopwatch. It's his sheer will. Towerbrun comes into the game for the punt. Randall L sets up, waiting for the punt. Here's the punt. From the 29. Randall out takes the punt to the 39. A smart coach would call this defense. It's first and 10. <laughs> Williams is the guy who's there to bring him down. Nice tackle by the linebacker. Second and seven. Denver lines up in a 4-3. On the carry. Wilson comes up to make the play. A 15-yard gain right there on second down. So they have first and ten here. The Broncos line up in a 4-3. Hand off to the tailback. Ferguson is there on the stop at the 43. Okay, this defense will stop him for sure. They have to reach the 33 to convert. Denver using three linebackers. Miller comes in motion. It off. Fumble. Loose ball. The Broncos recover. Great play by the defense to recover the fumble. Yeah, they were right there to jump on the ball. The coach is hoping they get it right here because that could be a big lift to the team. What the official will be looking for here is to see if the knee is down. It's tough to say with that replay. This one won't be easy. A call on the field is overturned. No time will be charged to Pittsburgh. So he takes advantage of the option to challenge the play, and it pays off. You bet. They just went from a bad play to a good one. And that does a lot for your team. Now let's see if they can take advantage of it. Ward is lined up on the right. Roethlisberger with a man in motion. Steps up into the pocket. Big time oh, link. Brown gets side. to him in a hurry. Awesome. He really overpowered the blocker that time. He's a big, big, strong man. Kardaki is ready to pump this one away. Adams lines up deep for the punt return. Here's the kick. And he waves for the fair catch. 
Come on, show these guys some power football. So they have first and ten here. Only one man in the backfield. Hand it off. Adams comes up to make the play. Good pick up of about six. Scan the defense quickly here. If nothing's open downfield, get rid of it by passing it to one of your backs. They line up in the I formation. Yellow, 74. Mad dog over. Yellow, Z left. Z left. Drops back. On the move. Jumps up and he has it. Barry is there on the stop. Plummer was able to escape the rush and delivers a perfect pass on the run. That's one of those things that's tough to game plan for. You have to try and keep him stationary. Keep him in the pocket. You let him run around like that and pick his target, he can really carve up a defense. Smith goes in motion. Pass play here on first down. Stepping up. Rolling. He hits his receiver. Taylor makes the tackle. They throw it and pick up a second consecutive first down. Well, when you start to establish something, you want to keep it going until the defense finds a way to stop you. The Steelers come out in a nickel pack. Johnson moves in motion. And off to the tailback. The 40. Big opening. The 30. The 20. Porter is there on the stop at the 14. Perfect play. And they gain 36 on first down. This is the fifth play of this drive. They're inside the 15. Plummer with a man in motion. Yo, 25. Huh. He'll pass on first down. Steps up into the pocket. Throws it. He finds his man. Touchdown, Broncos. This is a good play by the offense in the red zone. The wide receiver is going to break away right here and come up with a catch and the touchdown. You better kick it here. Set. The kick is up. The point after is good. Taking the lead by 11 now after scoring the touchdown. So they drive the length of the field, come away with a touchdown. Anytime you score a touchdown like that, it gives your defense a boost. They're going to be out there with a lot of excitement and try and maintain this momentum for the rest of the game. This one is taken by Colton. And they're about ready to get this drive started after the last series ended with a punt. It's first and ten. The Broncos come out on a nickel pack. Ferguson comes up to make the play. Gain of seven. Boom. This defense will stop him for sure. Second and maybe three. Denver comes out in their nickel package. Wilson makes the play. So they pick up enough to convert for the first down. This is a good defense to call. Ball on their own 34. The Broncos come out in a nickel package. Hand it off. This one will be spotted at the 34-yard line. One-yard gain on that play. Try this play. Nine yards to go. The Broncos line up in a 4-3. Hands it off. We're going to spot this one at the 35-yard line. The linebacker comes up to make the tackle. Fifth play of this drive, eight to go. So as they get set to try to convert, here's what both teams have done on third down. Denver comes out with seven in the secondary. Cut. 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 
with the pass, drops the interception. Williams with the coverage. Time to call the special teams play. This punter has been out there all day long. I guarantee you he's loose. Here's the punt. Fair catch called for. Ball on their own 28. They'll go from the shotgun. Stepping up. Gets rid of it. In and out of his hands. He did a great job finding the open area but can't catch it. You're always going to have a few like that. You get wide open and you just drop an easy one. Anderson is on the outside instead of in the backfield. Pressure coming. Great job getting in there to drag the quarterback down. And he picks up the sack. It's now third and long after the sack. Plummer back in the shotgun. Stepping up. Gets the pass off. And he hits his target. Bell didn't get enough for the first. Now smart coach will punt the ball here. Nothing happening for the offense there. Forced into a three and out. Completed three quarters of play. And the score is 14-3. Start the fourth quarter. I don't think you have a choice. Punt the ball. Set. Here's the kick. From the 35. Call this defense here. The Broncos come out in a nickel pack. Aimed it off to the back. Williams comes up to make the play at the 45-yard line. Heck, this is a good one to call. Ball on their own 45. Ward lines up on the right side. Fakes the handoff. Throws it. They'll knock him out of bounds at the 46. Perfect execution to get this first down. Look at it here. He knows how far they have to move the chain. And he gets it by making the right decision and laying it in there like that. They give it to the halfback. Warren is there for the tackle at the 42-yard line. This defense will stop him for sure. They have to get to the 36 to convert for a first down. The Broncos come out in a nickel pack. Gets the pass off. And he is bumped out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Heck, this is a good one to call. They have to get to the 36 to convert for a first down. the gun gets rid of it Ooh, nearly picked off Wilson was his intended target the corners move up to play this one tight They'll blow this play dead as there appears to have been early movement. Start. Flag for the false start. False starts are kind of frustrating because they're really easily avoided by just maintaining focus. As expected, they'll go for it here. Drops back. Throwing. It's broken up. Use the motion to throw off the defense. Don't let him get too comfortable.
Smith is lined up on the right. Stepping up. Pressure. Smith right after the quarterback from his defensive end spot. And the sack really helps in the game of field position. It puts him in a long yardage situation. And that gives the advantage to the defense. Following the sack, it's second and long. Yellow, 25. Anderson is lined up as a receiver. Bell goes in motion. Yellow, 16. Steps up into the pocket. Under pressure, well protected. Throws on the move. Incomplete pass. Colomalo gets to him. Just as the ball arrives, and he knocks him loose. He played that well. You know, it looked like he knew exactly where that route was going. Three, 16. The Steelers come out in a nickel pack. Closing in. Gets rid of it. He finds his man. Higgins is there on the stop. Now, this is one heck of a play. Look at it. You're in a hole here on third down. And they come through with this perfect play that gets them a first and keeps the drive going. to go. Smith is flanked to the left. Yellow, 25. Louder, louder, Gets the pass off. It's going the other way. Colomano played it perfectly. Comes up big here in the fourth. Coach would call this one. After the interception, they'll set up shot at the 35. The Broncos come out in a nickel package. Warren takes him down. The yards may be two on the counter play. This defense will stop him for sure. Ward lines up on the right side. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. Bailey pulls him down. Perfect execution to get this first down. Look at it here. He knows how far they have to move the chain. And he gets it by making the right decision and laying it in there like that. Wilson comes up to make the play. Big tackle. He puts everything into that stick. Heck, this is a good one to call. Ball at midfield. Parker is on the right of the formation. Steps up into the pocket with the throw. Williams is there on the stop. Can't draw it up any better than that. Textbook first down. So they have first and ten here. So after that nice catch and run, here's a look at his stats. Comes out in a 4-3. They give it to the handback. Lynch is there for the tackle. Parker kept his legs moving. Gets seven hard-earned yards. They need to reach the 25 to convert. The Broncos come out in a nickel pack. Breaks the tackle. Flings it to the outside. Incomplete. Ian Gold is getting up very slowly. It looks like he'll head toward the sideline and we'll get you an injury report as quickly as possible. Green will enter the game at linebacker due to the injury. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. Looks like they'll play bump and run on the outside. Roethlisberger with a man in motion. Gets the pass off. Knocked away. Randall up was his intended target. Foxworth the was there on the cover. This is going to be about a 45-yard field goal attempt. And it's up. 
The kick is good. The Steelers draw to within a touchdown. And they're able to get some points out of the drive with the successful field goal attempt. Hey, that's why you have your kicker. You put him in position to come through, and when he does, it gives your offense confidence that they don't have to do it all. They can rely on him to get points, too. This one is taken by Adams. Give the defense a lot of credit on that last possession as they were able to force the interception. Let's see what happens this time. Ian Gold returns from being injured. Only one man back. Gets rid of it. And the catch is made. Barrett is there for the tackle. Well placed. He puts it just enough in front of his receiver, and it's a first down. Anderson lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Plummer sends a man in motion on the ground. Porter takes him down at the 34-yard line. Anderson is closing in on 100 yards rushing. About six to go. Smith is on the left side of the formation. throw and he hits his target and it's good for a first down looks like there's room to the outside just make sure you keep it in bound so the clock keeps on ticking ball on their own 40 only one man in the backfield Receives the handoff. Breaks free. And he is bumped out of bounds at the 50. All you need to do here is run some clock. Run the football up the middle. Ball at midfield. They'll go from the I formation. should be thinking. You're not going to be passing in this situation. Ball on the 29-yard line. Puccia helped his yards after catch average go up on that last play. Keep that clock moving. Make sure you use as much time as you can while your offense has a ball. Yellow, 16. Smith is on the right of the formation. Plummer with a man in motion. Stepping up, pressure coming, gets rid of it. He finds his man. The 20, and he's knocked out of bounds at the 14. Looks like there's room to the outside. Just make sure you keep it in bounds so the clock keeps on ticking. Only one man back. Hands it off to the back. And pulls him down. 13 yard gain. And it's first and goal. It's first and goal at the one yard line. Looking upfield. They'll go with a play fake. On the run. Touchdown, Broncos. A great call, and the throw is right there, hooking up for a fourth-quarter touchdown. It appears the coach wants to go for two. Drops back with the throw. Caught. The conversion is good. And that drive, John, is capped off with the touchdown. 
The thing was, they looked methodical in their approach. They were calm, executed well, and seemed very much in control. Nice distance. From the five-yard line, the 20, the 30. The Steelers can't afford to waste much time as they take off. Ball on their own 36. Denver comes out in their nickel package, dropping back. Roethlisberger with the dive, so they'll touch him down at the 46-yard line. And it looks like they're going to go no huddle. Rowing. Almost picked off. And little lob doesn't find its intended target. The defense should focus on keeping the receiver from getting to the sideline. Because as soon as he catches the ball, that's where he's going to want to go with it. Ford lines up on the right side. Gets the pass off. Almost intercepted. John is able to tip it away again. Roethlisberger will work out of the shotgun. Drops back. Brown with the tackle. The quarterback is calling them back to the line of scrimmage. Pass play here on first down with the throw. Missed tackle. Missed tackle. Bailey is there on the stop. What they're doing here is keeping the defense from huddling up. And it keeps the same defense on the field. Gets the pass off. Nearly intercepted. Yet another pass that's broken up. They have to move him down quickly here on second down. Al Wilson is today's horse trailer player of the game. The Broncos come out in a nickel package. Drops back. Gets rid of it. Knocked away. No choice here, John. They just have to keep throwing. Yeah, they do. Running the ball isn't going to do a whole lot of good now. Four down territory here. They come out of the nickel. Dropping back. Rowing. And this pass is complete. Hamer pulls him down at the 13-yard line. They're going to keep it moving here. They're heading straight to the line. Throws it, and it's caught. Williams is there for the tackle. And a flag is down on that one. Okay, His face mask, mask may have defense. been pulled. Number 27, first down. After the penalty, it's now first and goal. Well, late in the game, they finally make it inside the 20. Dropping back. Pump face. Floats one into the end zone. Picked off in the end zone. Loose ball. Now they can start taking a knee right here. Yeah, the defense only has two timeouts. Even if they stop the clock on first and second down, they won't be able to stop it on third. Looks like they'll take a knee right here and save the victory. So it stops the clock there. Now's not a good time to rub it in. Just down. Ball on their own 18. So they'll just wind the clock down and get out of here with a win. Pittsburgh will call a timeout here. You should probably play it safe, just down the ball. Here is a third and long situation. No need for anything else but taking the knee here to finish this one out. score is Denver 22 Pittsburgh 6 this is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports